Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the Aaron Genius, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode we finished up our Chronicle, our Imperial Chronicle request and we got a hat for the lady at Dreykels' Plaza or we got the hat from her and gave it back to the person who lost it and now we are in the Garnier district basically the pleasure district where the opera house is there's a jeweler and then there's the hotel that has monsters underneath and we're gonna take care of that big monster they've got down there but not right now tourists ha 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 what an exciting place this is as if the famous opera house wasn't enough they've got a casino nice clubs and even multiple famous clothing stores it would be a life would, would take me a lifetime to enjoy everything. I don't think so. Oh, 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 oh. I do wonder what will come of those rumors regarding Princess Alphine's dance partner at the garden party. Everyone's debating so fiercely about who exactly it will be. Reen is going to be the dance partner. So, Princess Alphine is making her way to the garden party and Prince, El uh, is, is, and Prince Cedric taking part in the mass at the ca cathedral. Then there's Prince Oliver, who will be going to the see the summer races. This is the very first time all three of them have taken part in the festival at once. What a thrilling year this is. Weacock. Well, hello there. Are you here on a field trip? What a pleasure to see young students such as yourselves learning more about our rich culture. The, the Heimdall Opera House embodies one of the Erebonians' is large, Erebonias' largest standing tradition, so I recommend you pay it a visit. There's also St. Carrier's, which currently has a national treasure on display. I absolutely recommend Heimdall Opera House for anyone looking to learn about our culture. There's always uh, there's also St. Carrier's with a national, uh, national treasure inside. A uh, national treasure? I could use one of those. That's our national treasure right there. Wow, a tiara encrusted with carnelians? This is about as ritzy as you can get. It's so shiny. <laughs> it's uh, it's not gonna take long for that thing to get stolen. Just saying, our next quest, that thing is get, getting stolen. I think it's getting, you know. There's uh, someone we know very well, our phantom thief, Blue Blanc. He's very interested in this sort of, you know, item, trinket, and yeah, this is gonna show up somewhere else soon. Corner Cordelia. Good day, we're currently exhibiting this spectacular piece of antique jewelry, the Crimson Tiara. Truly breathtaking, isn't it? As a matter of fact, it's being considered for, a, a, for inclusion as a national treasure due to its historical value. But go on, gaze upon its beauty to your heart's content. The Crimson Diara was crafted by hand during the Middle Ages. It's a magnificent representative work of, of, from that period. Please take all the time you'd like to enjoy this site. This might become a national treasure after all. Okay, now if it becomes a national treasure, he won't be stealing it. Basically only steals from the from nobles and takes what they have and gives it to the to the less. Like, they... What do we know about Blue Blanc? He likes... He's a passionate, a very passionate man, and he uh, he takes the beautiful things from nobles who just have them to lock them away in some safe, uh, takes them away and give, gives them somewhere else. He doesn't actually make a profit off of it, but he wants the beauty to be to still be around. It depends on this getting locked away as a national treasure, but currently it's on display and he wouldn't be stealing it at that point, I don't think. So there's no way that's gonna happen. Tourist, what a beautiful tiara. I'm so glad I made it in time to come and see it for myself. I never thought I'd have the chance to view the legendary crimson tiara in person. What a beautiful tiara. Last month we had to do some engineering work here in preparation for displaying the tiara. Now this building is fitted with the Rainford Company's most cutting edge security system. Not even the legendary phantom thief B could slip past this. Just, so just relax and overlook and enjoy a look around our store. Yeah, you know we're just we, we who we were just talking about, Phantom Thief B. Nah, nah. 
Welcome to San Korea's Jewelers. Ah, uh, has this diamond bracelet caught your eye? It was designed in a style popular in Heimdall during the Middle Ages when the Crimson Tiara was created. Welcome to San Korea's. Okay. I don't think I can buy anything here, huh? This tiara is so elegant, so beautiful, I can't help but sigh. I pride myself on having quite a collection of jewelry, but nothing I own holds a candle to this. Perhaps if I'd been able to marry her into royalty, I could have possessed something this rec uh, this exquisite. Eh, you don't need something like that. L -W, w E. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Lueh. Welcome to our store. Have you decided what you'd like to purchase? We offer an installment plan to customers interested in pur uh, uh, purchasing high-value items. If you'd like to learn more, please inquire with any member uh, with any member of our staff. Welcome to our, our store. Yep. Just about what I was expecting. Oh boy. That is exactly what they cost if you put them together at mixed store though, so we don't need to buy any of these here. Speed plus five as well, good lord. Good lord. Crossbell has its own famous troop too. They're called Arc and uh, Arc en Ciel. But when it comes to the history and tradition, Heimdaller Opera House has wins hands down. Wins hands down. But I would love to see them join forces to perform someday, especially since I'm a fan of both. Crossbell has its own famous troop too. They're called Ar uh, Arc en All right. I'm finally here. I've always dreamed of the day I'd be standing here ready to watch opera. I'm finally here. Moana. Here we have the Heimdaller Opera House. It's the largest opera house in the world boasting 250 years of exquisite history. It also serves as a common meeting place for nobles in the Middle Ages. And of course, the operas that take place here remain the greatest representative of Arabonian culture to this very day. The Heimdaller Opera House is the largest opera house in the world. Looking forward to what? Ha, huh, you look like you're all big fans. So this is the opera house, huh? Might be nice to see a show sometime. You need to reserve your seats two months in advance, though. And that's just for the cheap seats. This is the Heimdaller Opera House. It seems unrelated to Class Heavens' field study currently. Do you have a sausage? Korba. Don't tell me... Don't tell me you're downright famished from all this sightseeing, right? I mean, this is the biggest city on the continent, after all. But fear not, my stall sells just what you need. Food! Okay, that's a good sell. Tomato sandwich. Urgh. Banana crepe. Ooh. A standard crepe made with the bananas and fresh cream. Intriguing. 3,200 HP. That's quite a bit. Not paying money for that, though. Sorry, bud. We're gonna get our banana crepe sooner or later, to anyways. Yep, talk to everybody. Dear Himmy! Let's go into the sky. This really is an incredible hotel. It's supposedly been visited by wealthy nobles and international VIPs since the Middle Ages, and it shows. It's probably the fanciest hotel in the country, to be honest. <laughs> I never thought I'd get the chance to stay here. I'm here in Heimdaller for an event taking place during the summer festival, and my lodging was arranged by City Hall. <laughs> I never would have dreamed that they'd book a, me a room here, of all places. What a suspicious looking door! The door is locked. Huh. We'll see for how long.
This has been a premier hotel ever since its foundation. The uh, ever since its foundation in the Middle Ages. Unfortunately, because of that, our basement is connected to one of the city's underground passages. It's somewhat upsetting to realize that you have monsters lurking just beneath your feet during work hours. It's somewhat upsetting, uh, upsetting to realize that you have monsters lurking just beneath your feet during work hours. Perhaps I'd feel safer if someone were to go down there and take care of them all. Well, you don't have a guild branch anymore, guys. It sucks to be uh, to have that happen, right? Oh, good lord. I cannot believe this, father! Why weren't you invited to the garden party? This was the perfect chance to meet with Princess Alphine, too! How am I supposed to show off my fabulous new dress now? I cannot believe this! Oh, no! No, oh, Clarice, how in the world do you expect a mere baron just such as myself to receive an invitation to the garden party? More importantly, why don't we take the time to attend a show at the opera house? Ahem, <clears throat> you see, Erebonia's operas are the pinnacle of Zamorian art. Oh, Clarice. Nice. You two made it here as well. Okay, Mr. Burly, Burly Glasses Man. Seems like this leads to the hotel's VIP area. We probably shouldn't so much as look in there without permission. Uh, he has sunglasses on. He must be a he must be a bodyguard. What is that? Ah, that's me taking a step. Uh, that was a way weird symbol on the minimap. Welcome to Der Himmel. Excuse us. We are here to learn more about a request we received from this hotel. I is the manager available? He should know he should know who we are if you mention that we're from Thor's Military Academy. Ah yes, we've heard all about you. Unfortunately, however, Noble had to, um, Noble had to leave on urgent business. He should be back during the afternoon though, so might I request that you return then? If that's the case, there isn't much for us to do if he isn't here, so leaving this request for later seems like our only option. Yeah, let's go take care of the other th uh, others then. Can it? So, thing is, so, uh, quest, so, uh, ah. Ooh, hmm, required. Yeah, Noble. We visited Noble's hotel, but he seemed to be away. We'll have to check again when we're finished with our other obligations. I guess we just have to leave the hotel and then it triggers. After visiting the assigned areas and completing their ma mandatory tasks, Reen and Group A con contacted Group B. Noon had long since passed, so both groups gathered in Vancouver Street's department store for a late lunch. What's up with Laura? Ooh, I just want you to, oh, I just want you all to know I don't normally eat that much. Considering the size of the capital, I'm not surprised we worked up such an appetite running around. <laughs> well, I guess now we ought to have plenty of energy to make some good progress this afternoon. Indeed, although... Is there really nothing we can do about these two? This is getting ridiculous. They seem to be uncomfortable during the entire. They seem to be uncomfortable during the entire meal too. I can only hope we'll be able to find some way to reconcile their differences soon. I know, I know, but nothing good ever comes from rushing these things. I've got a feeling that they're going to get over it on their own soon. Hmm, I hope you're right. Anyway, we should get back to work. It shouldn't take us too much longer to finish things up. Yeah, I think we've got maybe one mandatory task left. Yeah, and that one's and that and that one we just couldn't do because the client was out at the time. Well, hopefully he's back by now. We'll go check in when we get a chance. We'll see you all again at some point. I hope this field study proves fruitful for us. Agreed. Good luck, everyone. Catch you later. Oh, 
Alright, let's back to the hotel in the Garnier Street District. Let's hope the manager's back in. Okay. Time advanced. Come on, what's there to be scared of? Okay, scared. Information about Lady Annabelle. You'll find her. And now one has different dialogue. Let's go back to the Garnier district. Did something change here? Everybody has their locations. I won't spend the time talking to everybody then. Is Noble back? Noble is back. Good day and uh, thank you for visiting the Ahimel. This hotel is fully furnished with spas and massage rooms to make your stay as pleasant and relaxing as possible. We strive to offer what others hotel do not, and we'd love to have your company. How much is it? 200. That's actually, well, not ridiculous. Welcome to Der Himmel. Might you be searching for a room? Oh, good. It seems like the owner's back. Actually, we are here about the, a monster extermination request you placed. Oh, you came to take care of that for us, did you? You all seem rather young. Are you sure you'll be able to handle it? We have significant experience in monster extermination. I don't foresee any problems. Can you explain what exactly you'd like us to do? Well, if you insist. The request involves the eradication of a monster currently living underneath this hotel. Underneath? You see, beneath this city lies a network of underground passages built during the Middle Ages. One of those passages happens to lead directly into this hotel's basement. So, it was originally constructed during the so-called Dark Ages. I seem to remember reading something like that in a book a, a while back. Yeah, these tunnels have apparently been unattended for, for a long time now. Correct. However, lately there seems to be a concerning increase in the number of monsters inhabiting the pas passage. An employee went to investigate and brought back reports of a particularly large creature in there as well. Before we'd occasionally, before we'd occasionally put in a request to the guild to clear out the monsters, uh, monsters underground, but... That isn't an option at this time, as the guild branches in the city closed over a year ago. Doesn't sound good. Our customers certainly won't be able to rest easy with dangerous monsters prowling around underneath the, the hotel. You think you could take care of this matter for us? Certainly, we just leave. You just leave everything to us. Can you explain how we're go how we are to enter the underground passage? First, you'll need this key. Use it to unlock the door on the opposite side of this entrance hall. That will lead you down into the underground passage. However, I'm afraid I know nothing of the passage's layout, including how vast the network of tunnels is. Please do be careful down there. We will. Alright, as soon as we're prepared, let's head down into the underground passage. Roger. We're going to need to make sure we've got all our equipment prepped and ready. Oh my! Clear? No. No. Ah. Vita... Lady Clotilde, uh, is it time for you to depart? Vita... I I knew who, I, I know who this is, but still. Yes, I'll be stepping out for a while. Mm, yeah, charming woman. But more importantly, who do we have here? Is that? No way! V V V V Vita Clotilde. It's really her! Oh, jeez. I never thought I'd actually get the chance to meet her. Wait, who is this now? It's the opera singer. You three! Don't just stand there staring! You're in the presence of the legendary opera singer Vita Clotilde! The Azure Diva herself! The Azure Diva, huh? Hmm, I do recall hearing that name at some point. <laughs> Wait, you don't know who she is? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Opera is a world unto itself. I expect there are multitudes who have never heard of me before. That is a very very nice dress. I'm Vita Clotilde, an opera singer. I'd be delighted if you would come and hear me sing sometime. 
It's a pleasure to meet you. She is really pretty. By the way, I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. You're all students then. Did you come here in the hopes of getting my autograph by any chance? Uh, of course we did! What other reason could we possibly have to be here? Okay, cool your jets, you two. Ahem, ah, we are all stu uh, students from Thor's military academy in Trista. We came to the capital on a field study, started, uh, started making our rounds, and ended up here. Ah, uh, what a way to take the wind out of my sails. But a military academy, you say? Could that mean you've come to take care of the beasts in the underground passage? Yep, just about to get started. D just leave that monster to us. We'll have it down for the count before you know it. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. I've been quite worried ever since I first heard about it. Still, you say you're here on a field study. My, schools these days certainly put their students through some challenging coursework. <laughs> I doubt there are any other ac academies in the country with a curriculum quite like ours. Ah, I'm sorry, but I need to be on my way to, or, or, or I'll be late for my rehearsal. If you'll excuse me. Our, apologi our apologies for delaying you. Hmm, not at all. It made for a pleasant diversion. I wish you all the best with your field study. I'm sure it won't be easy. Interesting. Wow! She's even prettier in person than she is in photographs. Yeah, nothing compares to the real thing. Oh no, we forgot to get her autograph! Ah, uh, what a shame. Still, she seems to be a fine woman. Not only beautiful, but considerate and patient as well. Yeah, I got that impression too. So, she's a famous opera singer, huh? Wait a second. Something about her seems kind of familiar. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Might she be Misty? Is she Misty though? I don't... I really am weirded out by that. But Misty's here, I remember being kind of bluish, so it's it's weird. That's cool. Misty is Misty is Vita Clotilde then. Very cool. That would make sense that she would have a very pleasing voice. Nice. And she would know about Trista and be unhappy about not being able to chat with us some more. That is cool. Hmm. What's wrong, you two? Ah, nothing. Probably just my imagination. Anyway, there's some creature waiting down there for us to serve uh, to serve it an eviction notice. The door to the underground is on the right-hand side of the hall, once we're ready to go. I thought about her voice too, and I didn't have the impression that she was Vita Clotilde, or that she, uh, that she was Misty, though. Ah, weird. Weird. All right. Use that key. Well, the door's unlocked now, but it sounds like it's quite a maze down there. Why do you have that kind of... I mean... My ears don't work through doors, gotta be honest. Or, like, they do, but not through a labyrinth, okay? Yeah, we should probably ma make sure we're well pre uh, prepared before going in. Now it also seems like a wise idea to make sure we finished all of our other tasks first. After finish finishing exploring the underground passage, the day's field study will end. It will no longer be possible to complete any quests that have been left unfinished. Yeah, but I want to grind a little bit on some monsters first. And this sounds like a big place. Ooh, cool. So, this is what the underground passage looks like. Wow, it seems crazy they built something like this in the Middle Ages. Seems like the monster we're after must be pretty deep inside, too. Let me take a sip of my non-existent tea. And let me take a sip of my water. Alright. Laura, feel just to be sure. You're both ready to begin exploring, right? Of course. If I wouldn't, couldn't be of service in situations like these, it would be pointless for me to be here at all. Same here. I've got your back. 
I think it's about time we finally formed a succe successful combat, Link Fee. We may have different approaches to combat, but we both show our true worth on the battlefield. I doubt you wish to bring further shame upon yourself, and I feel the same. True. I'll try to match the rhythm of your breathing. Hmm. Well, we'll do everything we can to support you, too. Alright, let's go. Er, uh, interesting. Let's try and link them. Yeah, they'll try. They said that. They didn't say they can. They they said they would try. Ooh, ooh, look at all that treasury goodness! Holy moly! Ha! Oh, loot! Loot out of the wee the wee woozy. So, scent. How do you work? You guys look. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Mm. You're a dick. I can't have scent equipped on Magia's. So, scent has Ariel, Grand Press, Dark Matter. Oh, Dark Matter is worth. So, instead, you'll have to take a Reaper. Which is not as good, but it's gonna be good enough. Harvest should have Grand Press on it anyways. So you can have Reaper. Harvest has Grand Press on it. Yeah, only... Ah, oh man, Dark Matter would have been nice. It would have been nice, so you don't need Dark Matter anymore now. Do I have anything else I would like to put here? Eh. Well, you don't have EP regeneration, so that would be worth. Earth Bell, Harvest, Sleep. For the moment, I'll give you Dark Matter, although it probably won't be necessary. Turn around, little birdie. Now's our chance! Five of them. I'll handle it. Okay, dirty rats? They do not look like rats. Any rat, uh, uh, like rats that I've seen in life don't have like weird cloy bird legs like these. They don't. Apparently you're rats though. Get degraded, sons. Here. <laughs> Gale. Let's see this skill again. It looked very nice last time I used it. Second form. Gale. Now's our chance. Jesus. Of course. Scouter. Wow. Wow. Dirty Rad. A rad monster which lives in dark underground areas. Pounces on enemies unnoticed, delaying their movement. Don't do that. Chitness shell, assorted grains. I would like assorted grains. You should be able to. Oh. But Laura should be able to have a. Or she should have Shatter. a lock quartz equipped. Oh my god, Laura! It's my turn! Mmm. Mmm. Alright, let's not. Eat that! Now! Wow! An opening! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you kept up very well. Whew, you weren't exactly making it easy. 1.9. Nice. Oh my god! The heck is that supposed to be? That's a lot of experience, dudes. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know why, why I'm making these noises. Please excuse me. But four sort of grains, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 400 Mira just because of that, and then 450, and uh, I, I mean, we're, we're good. Oh, wow, give me more, guys, give me more. I just wanted to check something, but I forgot, well, ah, yes. Green, you have a luck words, and Laura has luck words, yeah, I remembered that correctly. 
Oh, a treasure chest. Oh, no, that's not a treasure chest. That's a dirty rat monster. Turn around, dudes. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Yeah. I'll handle it. Yeah. You'll handle it. Yeah. Go! Secret form, Gale. Oh, Jesus, you guys are done. The second form, Gale! <laughs> my turn! Oh, my God, these poor creatures. Oh, they're not poor. Hey! But it's my turn! What do you mean, sir? You're a guy? You survived that? The heck? There's no one I... I can't let a lot. Oh, I I can't. I mean, yeah. I'll handle it. No, you won't. Okay. No, you won't. Go. I know you want to, but you know you're not gonna. Double overkill. My turn. Bam. You still have a lot of training to do. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Woo! Nice! Another four assorted grains. This is gonna be. We're not gonna need to buy assorted grains after this. <laughs> I did it! Never again will we need to buy assorted grains. Let me tell you that much, because I will farm the shit out <gasps> the of treasure these. chest! What are you? Ha! Oh, that's a box. Earth is epith. But I was looking at this lamp. Fell down from here. Intriguing. There's a moth by this lamp. This is this one is not working anymore. That pillar is. This looks cool. I mean, we're gonna see this crumpled pillar often, probably. It's the exact same pillar as this one. But the lamps have different shapes. Luminous glasses. Okay. Blind resistance and 50 ag percent accuracy. Who wants accuracy? I guess you might want accuracy. You have zero percent. Gladiator headband, orange cape. Luminous glasses, blind resistance and accuracy on it. Special glasses that allow the wearer to see even at night. Uh, yeah, for the moment. For the moment. Your strength is out of control, so we definitely don't need that. God, it's warm in here. Why is it so warm? Sir? I don't know what you are. I have no clue what you're supposed to be. What are you? Ha! Now's our chance! I'll handle it. The heck are you? Black Drome. Ah, Drome. Yeah, right. We had Ice Dromes before. Okay. Weak against water and fire. I'll handle it. Here. Woo. Say good night. My turn. Sweet Go. dream, sir. Be. Roger. Roger. Oh Jesus. Of course. It's cruel to see these little creatures get beaten up like this. Shatter! No. Good lord. Gotcha! It's my turn! Bam. You're not gonna do that. You're got what do you mean you don't have allies? Who has allies? I'll handle it. Alright. Good luck. I'll try at least. Important stuff. Holy song. Right. Real great heal. Detector. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. <clears throat> Analysis complete. A mollusk as dark as the abyss produces orbital energy in its body and uses time arts. Healthy liquor clear gelatin. Eh. Do, 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 do. Weak against stand down. Go! How weird is that, right, guys? Nope. Don't do that. Link you to a flora. Ha! Now's our chance! An opening! Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. 
And I've got a way to go to get to your level. You too. That guy? Oh, only three enemies, right. Right, right. Nice. Gains in this area are great. Do, 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 do. There's a ladder here. There's a ladder. The heck? A fat bat? A fat bat? I love fat bats. <laughs> Now's our chance. Let's get him. I'll hang Tell on. me more. Ball bat. Nope. Nope. Ball bat doesn't work. It's a fat bat. Because fat rhymes with bat if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> so fat bat, you need Go. to get like scouted too. But first you need to get dusted, sir. Ooh. The second form. Gale. Now's our yes. chance! An opening! Of course. Get slashed, sirs. Ha! Wait, what? It's my Wait, turn! Wait, what? What just happened? I don't understand. Got it? I'll try at least. I don't understand what that Analyzing just was. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete! Right, I equipped you with glasses. Did you actually just miss? Bad Bat, an exceptionally heavy bad monster, tackles enemies from the air with incredible force, knocking them back. Look at its wings, take a good look. Then look at its body. Do you see do you see what's wrong with that? Because uh that thing right there is not able to stay afloat. Like birds' bird bones are hollow inside to not weigh as much as for example a human bone or an animal bone from like uh, bones from animals that are living on the land or or swimming in the water they have to like it, it depends that much on the weight they have this thing staying afloat uh uh you are not gonna but you're a fat bat you're kind of cute my turn I mean i'd like to have one as a plushie I, you know, not one that bites. I don't like biting fat bats. Who likes biting fat bats? Seriously. <laughs> Gotta be honest there. Go! Ha! Now's a chance! Laura! Laura. Understood! Understood. Ha! Ha! Hi! Hi! Gross. Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. And I've got a way to go to get to your level. I think I've heard that one before. Fat bat experience. Red beast flesh. Not too to good time gains there. <laughs> I did it. You did it. You did do it. Eh. Give me a chest. Give me. Give me. Give me. Good treasure. Huh. Is that a treasure chest? <laughs> she really didn't actually put on those glasses, did she? Grand press. Don't I have one like that? Elliot, what are you doing? Don't I already have a grand? Yeah, that's my second one. Weird. First time I've gotten a special quartz twice. I didn't synthesize the one either. I wouldn't have done that for a grand press quartz. I just got it in a chest in the highlands. I think I remember which one as well. Are you a frog? Oh man, you look so nice. The advantage is ours. Oh man, you look so nice. I'll handle it. Ghoul frog. I don't think I want one of these as a plushie. I don't think. Oh my girly gumdrops, you look blur. Oh, come on now. Here. Go! Only one got poisoned, huh? Go! An opening! Er, you're alive. You're oh, nice. Never mind that. 
Didn't want to use Earth Cleaver. Shatter! Sir, leave it to me. You survived. Okay. Sir, you survived. Ah. Here we go. That's what happened. Game, don't don't you delay me. Not a big fan of delay. That's the power of the eight leaves. I hope so. Did we get Scouter? I didn't actually check. Oh, you material drops. I did it! Curia bomb and you materials, huh? Boy, how delicious. Mirage Zepeth. Reviving bomb, wind Zepeth. This would make a great training area. I envy the people who live around here. <laughs> Only you would see an underground passage and think about training. I had that same thought though when I fought that. Oh no, double fat bat. Fat bat! Come on, be exchanged for those mollusk frog things. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Okay. You guys are too far apart. Got it. Shoot him. Gotcha. Oh, fat bat get shot. Go. Now's our chance. An opening. Oh, you tagged the wrong one. Right. It's my turn. Machias, don't move a muscle. Fat I'll bat will it. notice you. Go. Ha! That's that. Let's keep moving. Laura and Fee leveled up as well, of course. Of course. Their master quartzes are all at level two. Those should gain some great experience as well in this area. Success. Success, peace. <laughs> I've only just begun. What, begun what, talking to Fee? I don't think so. Box. Ha! Ah! Oh, they snuck up on us! They didn't sneak up on us. Ugh! That's my character with the highest amount of defense. Take this! Yeah! Show him, Elliot! Ugh! My turn. What's the difference between big fat bat and small fat bat? 600 damage, that's the difference. Schnikes, dudes! Target locked! My turn! Time for being fat is over, guys! You should get fit! Machias, what are you doing in here? Uh, Elliot, what are you doing in here? Wait. Laura? Oh. I see Sorry, it now. Sorry, can you handle this? I Understood. see it now. We got rushed, so we didn't have our party formation as we wanted it. You guys have speed down, huh? Let's have, like, life down. Uh, we don't have combat right. links. We do not have combat links. Huh. Now. The guy behind me is on Dropping. fire. My turn. Is he confused? No, he's fainted. You have faint? How did we just faint him? Go! How did we just faint him? I gotta check my quartzes. My turn. Too slow. Done. But we can't relax yet. Dirty rats are way better for experience and everything. Fee, what did you just do? We have poison. Biako, sleep or blind. Speed breaker. Blind. You don't have what it takes to faint enemies. How did that happen? I wonder. Earth Zebeth. Wait, what? 
Don't do this. Open it. It worked. Oh, there's just one lever. I thought there were two. I spy treasure. I spy with my little eye. Now's our chance. Let's get him. My turn. What can I do with do with a Sylphie dance? Get some. Uh. Uh. Do I want? No, I don't want this. She doesn't have great CP gains. What? That's it. Here. My turn. I do enjoy her saying Sylphie dance though, because she says it, says it like a dance, not dance. She says dance. The second form, Gale. I like that. Now's our chance. An opening. My turn. Ta! Line it, poisoned Arch Stephens down right. and dead. You poor thing. Now! Broken. I'll handle it. Eat it. it. <laughs> Boom. Target's eliminated. Let's get going. Yawn. Nice experience for this one. Clear gelatin and healthy liquor. Healthy. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Yes, it is nice looking. Also, it's gonna contain a great fight. Nice butterfly there. Celestial bomb. Ooh, hello, free slot upgrade for Elliot. Bam. Bring it on. Ooh. Okay. Hey, yo. I think I have an opportunity to, to use my Sylvie dance over here. What? That's gonna hit so many, though. I actually want some item drops. Okay, let's just weaken them. Do, 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 do. Go! Do, 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 do. I don't want any of these to move. A muscle? Okay, fine. I'll just delay these. Now's our chance. Uh, I guess. Laura. I I was just about to scratch myself when I realized that. Oh, you know these guys could die too. It's my turn. Nice crit around around there. Good use of that one. I have never seen Phantom Phobia. Uh. Right. I want to see Phantom Phobia, but I also want these guys dead, so... Uh! Off guard! Got it. Off guard, cool. Okay. There's, uh, you know, you could just do something right now, but also would be convenient for you not to. That guy's fainted again. Through Laura's attack, that has faint on it. Don't do anything. My turn. Don't move. Don't move a muscle. Huh. Big skull. That seems like a. All right, let's keep moving. Holy attack. Uh -huh. What? Did you see that master quartz experience though? Three healthy liquors, Marcus. You ruined it. But item, item. All right. Juicy item. Genbu. It's gonna have poison and um, petrification. Wrath of Genbu is a move that um, a character called Zin from the Trails in the Sky trilogy is able to use as an ass breaker. It's funny how we have a quartz named Genbu now. You have poison. Biako. You have dragon vision, actually. Ah! I gave that to you. That's why we got that one guy analyzed so quickly. I was surprised about that. Again, boo. Poison and petrification chance. No need for that blindness anymore. Mm. 
Alright. Where's Froggit? Froggit should be back here. Bats aren't back either. Weird. Hey, sir. Sorry. Advantage is ours. Excuse me. Scouter. My turn. We got Scouter right off the bat. I'm gonna start with a flash grenade. Here. Can I get some petrification? My turn. I did not get petrification, but that's not a problem. The second form, Gale. Now's our chance. Nope. An opening. Get opened, right. sons. Right. Frozen and dead. Okay. Poor thing. My turn. What kind of arts do I have by now? Demo a demonic scythe still. Yeah, sure do. Huh. That's that. Let's keep moving. All right. I got scouter and I didn't look what they are. Curia bomb. Didn't get what I wanted. Monster. Time Dollar Passage. Ghoul Frog. A mass of dead monsters. Ugh. Has exceptional regenerative abilities. Yeah, we've seen that. Wait, no, we haven't. All right. All right. Good, good, good stuff. Fat Bats? Good, they're not back. I like saying fat bat, but I don't actually like fighting him. Before we move on, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, toodles!